The easiest way to make the diagnosis of a spinal cyst or really any problem in the lumbar spine is with an MRI. It gives us great visualization of the anatomy and it gives us great visualization of anything that might be going on. The one important thing to keep in mind is that the vast majority of abnormalities we see in the spine on an MRI really are incidental findings, meaning they are things that we see, but they have nothing to do with the problem. In fact, they did a study where they took healthy 30-year-olds who never had back pain or leg pain a day in their life, and a third of them were walking around with herniated discs that were causing no problems whatsoever. The symptoms you can see when someone has a spinal cyst would either include back pain, buttock pain, or leg pain, or any combination. However, having said that, the most common causes of those symptoms are not cysts. They're typically herniated discs or arthritic enlarged joints pushing on the nerve. So although a cyst is something that we do see in our practice on a regular basis, they're a relatively uncommon cause of those symptoms. When a patient is, has a synovial cyst and they are having symptoms from it, I think it's very important that they seek treatment at a multidisciplinary center where all the options are available and physicians who take care of the non-surgical treatments such as rupturing the cyst by puncturing it with a needle done under sedation and x-ray guidance versus surgical intervention. And it's best when the entire team can work together and discuss amongst the doctors and the patient what's the best option for that individual patient. Our strong philosophy is that surgery should always be the last option. However, when surgery is required, a minimally invasive technique should be utilized whenever possible. As far as recovery from the cyst treatment, if one has the procedure where it is ruptured through an injection, then the patient can get up and leave approximately 30 minutes later and return to work the very next day. As far as a minimally invasive procedure where we go in and do surgery through a small incision and utilizing a microscope to remove the cyst, that's typically outpatient surgery. The patient goes home the same day. Typically, we will allow them to return to work part-time after about a week or so. I think the key bullet points from this entire discussion are that if you do get an MRI and you do have a report that says that you have a cyst, don't panic. The vast, vast majority of these cysts are completely benign, meaning not cancerous problems. And in fact, most of these don't even have anything to do with your particular pain. However, if you do have something such as a synovial cyst, which is causing symptoms, then clearly seek out a center where they have all the tools at one site and all the different doctors and the physical therapy and the imaging, all of it can be done in one place so you can get your opinion from the entire group.